Hello, listener. There was a recording error with Kate's mic this episode, so unfortunately you will not hear Kate clearly, and most of the time, not at all. The episode is still enjoyable and definitely worth a listen. Now, on to the show. Uh, so I am going to just uh, rush ahead to that first one, Ooh, and I'm going to attack I him. I dig it. Look at this. Um, with... Uh, <laughs> Oh. I, think, I think everyone's a little passionate today. I love it. There's a there's a time for peace and and there's a time not for peace and I think this is that time. So I'm going to attack this <laughs> one. Yeah, listen, kid, <laughs> you fucked up. You fucked up. Oh Ooh, snap! Nice that's wrong. a critical. Hit. That's a critical hit, dude. Look at the story <laughs> moment as Kaladri charges forward. A war priest Don't mess of Kaladri and art. Dude, he said let's to go. leave the art alone and. Uh, yeah, oh shit, goes. yo! Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> Three <laughs> pieces of <laughs> damage! Wow! You wow. one shot hero point as you <laughs> one shot! <laughs> Holy cow! Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Welcome to episode three of the Enmity Cycle. Here with Call Shots Entertainment. How are we doing tonight? Hello, hello, hello. How are hello. Doing, everyone? Episode ill, if you're Kate. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to listen to Call Shots Entertainment if you want to get that reference. Well, <laughs> that. About 20 weeks. <laughs> bait him in, bait him in, boys, bait him in. All right, no. well, without any further ado, we you guys know the deal by now. If you don't know by now, we do a little fun game to see how many hero points the party starts with. Restart or resets back to five. Let's get a nice funnel game of bounder going. Here we go, folks. First roll coming out for the D20s. Let's see them. You like this one? Ooh, one, oh. ooh, one is good. One is really good. That's really, really good. Okay. Ooh, we got we got some highs. We got some lows going. We got one from Everett, eight from Laviel, 16 Xander, four Melly Stemp, and 10 Kaladri. Let's see. 3d6 coming out for the house roll time. here. Ooh, nice low roll of a four. Ah. Melly Stemp is out of the game. Ah. Oh, okay. oh, I'm sorry. All right. That's okay. So That's okay. Basically, anyone that's not Everett has to roll a three, one, or a two, or one, two, or three to win this game. It's going to be a really rough roll. Uh, so let's see who's out of the game. Mally Sam is out of the game. Here we go. A request coming out for the four remaining players. Don't worry, guys. I got this one. All right. No, I got yeah. this Matt, one. Let's go. Let's go. The one time nope. you want to roll low. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Oh, Are you kidding? The three. Nobody gets the oh, God, extra one. hero point. No, no extra hero points today. That's rough, wow. man. That's Ouch. rough. As you guys start with a mortal five hero points as a group. Jeez. Yowza. That sucks. I'm sorry, guys. Mike, you're not allowed to use any of them. <laughs> you guys went from <laughs> having eight last episode to three. Rip a pony. We're going to be okay. Five? Rip a pony. Liam, five. Yeah, five. Liam, three. five. Yeah, five. Liam, five. Five hero points. <laughs> you guys have. Don't scare me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say zero. No, you guys start with five by default. You guys try to win more. That's how about that's how bounder works. All right. So, this is where Labiel comes in super clutch. This trek to Ilhim could take two days, or it could take as little as seven hours based on your check here as no Laviel pressure, can make no pressure, a no desert lore check there's no pressure don't, dude don't, come on don't now. mangle it Laviel with an 18 the dc 17 oh close. very nice it takes a day and a half instead or sorry it takes one day instead of two as you are so confident in traveling 
that you know how to, you just know, like navigation just comes second nature to you. As uh, that will also get rid of the battle medicine uh, cooldown on Xander, as it is going to take a whole day to get there. So you guys can travel for the rest of the day and get there in the morning of the next day. Is that okay with everybody? Yeah. That's yes, sir. All right. Don't call me, sir. I work for a living. Here we go. <laughs> I'm sure Jason will enjoy that one. Oh, I know that. I know that joke. <laughs> as, <laughs> Although a joke is a question, though. Is it really? As it is the 8th of Serenith, 6 a.m. As everyone gets ready to head out on Camelback the following morning and make it there. And I will say at about, eh, we'll say you get there at about 8 in the morning. All right. Mr. GM Liam. Yes. Since I can't call you, sir. Would I be able to inspect the the head of Richard and uh, see about potentially repairing him in some way, or at least like undoing damage I might have caused by asking him questions? It, no, it didn't. I would say it puts strain on him. It doesn't actually deal damage to it. Okay, okay. So he's just can't answer all that many things in one sitting. Yeah, essentially, what you would think is if you have more components, maybe, maybe mm-hmm. maybe you could like push him a little further. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you want to make a check, um, while you were settling down for the night to try and see if you can get some more information out of him, you absolutely can. I would love to, if, if possible. Sure. Cause this then, is, this is the only thing we have to go off of right now. As, um, anyone who's trained in crafting can actually, actually help you with this. I will make this a group effort as you guys are all probably a little curious. I'll let you yes. keep the 22. That's fine. I would like to eat. As this. everyone else who's trained in crafting can try to assist. Uh, oh, shit. Effort right here. Ooh, nat- two Ooh. natty ones. What in the dog shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Critical Th- failure. That's three critical <laughs> failures. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. As, uh, so what, what kind like, of check is no, this? No, 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 no. If, 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 you, if you put that little crank doohickey there. Yeah, stop, and, stop, stop it. No, 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 no. Like, no stop, don't you stop, dare touch stop, that. Stop, stop, <laughs> stop. As everyone's trying to, like, they, they're just excited to help, but they clearly have no idea <laughs> what they're doing. As uh, Lore Master's Etude coming in clutch. Go ahead and re-roll that Malia stamp. Let's see what you got. Someone just, like, pops up one of the eyes. Uh, and I'm like, <gasps> no, 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 no. <laughs> As it almost falls into the sand. And you're like, no! Is Let's it new see. or better for that? I miss this new result. Uh yeah, you should be able to re-roll. There you go, 13. Eh, you don't critically fail, you just fail, so that's better. <laughs> oh, better result. Well, yeah, yeah better result. Better. 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 Yeah. Always better. Um it disappeared off my screen when I went to re-roll. No be no no biggie. As um let me see here. Let's see my stamp awakened. Okay, cool. All right, as I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Like, so what do you want to ask it? Ooh. As I'll, <laughs> we I'll should give probably you steer one, away uh, from topics on Val's directly, maybe. Yep. Seem to overload you, it. Yeah, I'll give you one question. Yeah, Val's is probably a bad idea. I would do the rest for the night also, right? Okay. Yeah, because I would I would have been doing this just before we yeah. uh, like rested for the night. Gotcha. Go ahead, ask it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't wait to break this robot again. Richard, I have a question for you. Ask away. There was a woman we heard speaking that came from a recording of yours, it seems, in Il- Ilhin's temple? Was that it? She was mentioned Ilhin's temple. Do you know who that woman is? Searching. As you see it kind of cranking, you can hear the crank spinning. Not too fast or anything, but you hear the crank spinning. As I will make a hidden check to see if it can recall. Let's see. And just say, she only referred to herself as Z, as in, it's not one of the letters on the note. Very good. <laughs> as that's a, that, that'll be, a, I'll give you guys a hero point since you guys didn't win any bounder points. I feel bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, a pity point. Pity, hey, pity hero points are good points. Take them. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. That'll be all for tonight. Please rest. Shutting down. That's all. Okay. <laughs> I'm good for the night. <laughs> not pushing my limits as um let me see here as you all arrive in Eelheen, uh first things first here um here's what i'll do let me get some 
Uh, in terms of exploration activities, is anyone doing a different exploration activity? Uh, no, I'm good with mine. I'll go to so, search. It is. You know, search. May I continue yeah. to scout? Okay. With um, with the uh, okay. uh, appearance of these sand dogs, um, I want to switch to detect magic just uh, to kind of get a heads Ooh. up if there is any kind of uh, magic presence coming. Okay. Detecting magic. Very good. I'll take one of them off. No big deal. Thanks. Okay. Scouting. I'm, and I'm, you should see a searching Xander for you to choose from. Very good. Thank you. No problem. Awesome. Okay. As you approach, a small village with a handful of square whitewashed buildings stands in a shallow depression of the surrounding rocky desert. The houses are organized in a circle around a central well, a lush green area with three large date trees that provide shade. Hills rise to the north and west, sheltering the village from the western winds. So, as you all, like the, as you all arrive, they don't seem, they don't seem hostile, but you can tell the citizens of Ilheen, if you had to guess, the population would probably be between somewhere of 50 and 60. It's a very small village. Oh, I thought you were saying like the age would be between 50 and no, 60. No, 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 it's no. like a the retirement pop- village. No, the po- <laughs> this welcome to Florida. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, so, uh, no, this is uh, the population. 50 to 50, uh, 50 to 60 is not a big village. Uh, no, I'm sorry. You critically succeeded when you uh, did this, Everett. The population of 58. Very small. Oh. Very small. Um, so they seem a bit unfriendly <laughs> towards you all. Um, but they are willing to let you talk to them. So you guys can go around and you can use Diplomacy Society or Lama Sara lore to make an impression on some of these folks. Try to win the people over. What about my versatile performance? Uh, you can use performance. Uh, oh. Just roll it separately because I don't have it programmed into that check. Yep, yep. I am also not showing up in this check. That's because you're not trained in any of these skills. Are you? Well, you're trained in diplomacy, right? I'm trained in society. Are you trained in diplomacy? And diplomacy. Too? Oh, then roll, yeah. roll diplomacy separately. I'm so sorry. Again, I'm just so distracted by how beautiful everything is that. Yeah. I, <laughs> it wasn't worth it. As Caladri and Xander, you're like, don't really. You're trying to like, what do I even talk? To? Like, how would I? What do I even bring up? As you, as you're kind of <laughs> distracted with that, they don't seem receptive, receptive. of the two of you, but. Uh, let's see, Everett. And it seems like the only person who's relatable here is Labiel, as everyone else fails. <laughs> Remember, you guys do have hero points. Now you said you were only one shy of the DC if you want to use a hero point. Up to you. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could. Alchemist isn't there. Oh, uh, say he's. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there it is. So up to you if y'all want to use hero points. Okay, hero point coming out. Oh, much worth it. Go. That's a critical, critical success. success. Very good. I'd be so disappointed if our bard was just like unlikable in a town. That's what I was saying. I was like, out of all the people, you might want to fucking. <laughs> yeah. I'd be so disappointed if he used a hero point and then got like a two, or then after that, a three. <laughs> that would be horribly disappointing. Would be horribly You're disappointing. <laughs> okay, Labiel. Um, and. Say so. The two elves take Ooh. lead on this as uh, they they seem receptive to the two of you. Everyone else they kind of seem put off by. As what you uncover is a few things here: the Serenites at the old runes. So uh, sorry, how about this? Uh, there's a Ser- there's a, a temple of Serenray, which probably Ooh. piques the attention of Xander uh. nearby. The Serenites at the old runes keep to themselves and only rarely send someone into town, typically for supplies. The local farmers have an agreement with the priests of this temple as well to donate a portion of their crops to the temple in order to keep the worshippers fed. And the last bit of information probably piques Xander's and Calandri's ear, as the temple holds an annual Sun's Kiss holiday. On the summer solstice each year, uh, let me see here. Yeah, the town's children play in the sun during the hottest part of the day until they become sunburned, after which the town holds a feast. 
So, <laughs> Xander and Kaladri, you're not sure if this is a, the Sun's Kiss holiday is an actual holiday. Interesting. So use that check in the chat to see if this is uh, valid or not. Yeah, that seems like a horrible holiday. Yeah, <laughs> it's like terrible. Go outside so till you I'll turn say, into a lobster. I'll say the two of you, I'll combine your check. The DC is 20. We'll say both of you recognize this. Hmm. You've never heard of this holiday um, for Saren Ray. And when you think about it, who here can name me the domains of Saren Ray without looking at their <laughs> character sheet? Jesus. Not I. Saren Ray is fire. fire. Protection. Protection. Redemption. Redemption. And what is there? Did you say the H word in there or no? Healing. Healing. No, I did not healing. say that. Healing. Does that sound like a something a healing deity destruct- would want to no, do? <laughs> not at all. No. 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 I mean, if you're trying to get more clout, you could just right? be like, oh, look, I healed all of you. You're better now. See, I am necessary for your survival. Uh, no. Um, as uh, you're, you, you think both of you look at each other almost, so I will say simultaneously, as a c- cinematic uh, anime zoom into both of your eyes are like, Nani? <laughs> That doesn't sound right. Nani. As um, okay. As uh, you both recognize, like, no, the, no, there's there's something wrong about that. And the, as you guys are, kind of coming together, on this, um, the el the village elder, approaches you. Let me see. Let me see uh, there we go. As the village elder approaches you, as, oh hey hello. <clears throat> As, as, as the rest of the villagers kind of back away, he goes, What do you want? What are you are you looking for in Ilhin? I can assist you. I am the elder Nizar Wasim Alhini. And I'll go ahead and put that in chat because I don't expect you to know that off the top of your head. That would be incredible <laughs> in chat. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a Pathfinder name. Uh, there you go. He's an elderly man dressed in simple white linen robes and is often the first person to greet visitors, but it seems he was busy at the time. Uh, what, is, is, yeah, what do you want to know of Ilhin? I can assist you. And he seems to be a bit friendlier than the hmm. others. So we're looking for information for Val's beta? Let's hear it. Val's? As he thinks for a second. The poet? Yes. As he seems confused, um, anyone who doesn't believe him can roll a perception check. For sure. Absolutely. I'd love to. <laughs> I'd love to do that. Because there's no active encounter. Uh, you can just use perception. Not not, not, not not perception initiative roll, just perception. <laughs> just above that. There should be just perception. Yeah, there should be just above it. Oh. Uh, it ain't that serious, bro. Oh, there. Mine doesn't have... I only see the initiative one. What? I only have one. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. Way down there. I was looking like right right by it. Okay. 21, 27, 20. Reading the air over there. Mr. Malustium. As uh, he will lean into the group. As you can see, he's trying to hide something. Let's come, come, come. And he like ushers you into his house. Is there anyone not going to follow? I will. Can, can I... Just like prop myself in the doorway instead of walking all the way in. Sure. Uh, Kaladri would go in. Yeah, I'll go in. Uh, guy seems to be telling something, and he's a village elder, and he shares the name of the village, so he's going to want to protect the town as far or the village as far as I can tell. So he wants to keep us, give us some information. I'm down to hear it. Okay. We going? Okay. I'm just going to try to keep an eye out for people. Uh, that seem more aggressive towards us than before, potentially? Sure, absolutely. As he ushers those who follow him in, it's like, you you must understand that uh, we believe there is some spirit that occupies the temple or surrounding rooms, and the priests spend most of their time trying to keep it contained and keep us safe. At least, that's what they've always told us. But any time I've sent someone out of concern for these spirits, the few villagers I have sent never return, as he kind of seems defeated, telling you this information. 
and they're not even trying to hide the suspicion or suspicious activities of no one coming back? No. They are trained. None of us are. Most of us don't even have weapons outside of farming tools. The, the spirit is... um. Uh, uh, how do I put this? I have reason to believe that the spirit is unholy, which will probably spark Caladri's ear. Yeah. Or make uh, her uh, um, eyebrows raise up. Uh, unholy? I have seen the, the leader one time, and that was over 25 years ago. He doesn't look like he's aged a day. That's not normal. Well, my people at least. Is he is he not an elf? Human. Okay, now that is weird. Maybe mm. he moisturizes. He needs to share this product with me then. <laughs> <laughs> I think you look great for your age, Elder. Hey, I, I was just going right, to say that, right. that you're beautiful. You. I do not know his name. We were thinking of going over there anyway because that holiday didn't seem to... We, I followed Saren Ray and that holiday didn't seem like it was a real thing. Yeah, it, it seemed really weird. Uh, um, it's uh, Saren Ray is about healing, but having kids in the sun for too long that that's not that's not fitting of that of that ideal as you said he looks to you all oh yes i'm willing to give you the location of the temple but i ask you and he kind of like looks around solve problem quickly i do not want my families to suffer consequence of your do not take the wrong way inadequacy to deal with the problem is it something you think you can take care of inadequacy this is absolutely something we can handle <laughs> no doubts about it as you you kind of see a, a look of relief on his face as he's he's probably been pretty hopeless about this for the better part of over a decade as like no one is probably people have never believed him or investigated or both We'll do everything we can to make sure that your family and your village remain safe. For sure. Got I, this. I appreciate that. And he, uh, he, he explains in words, as he does not have a map, he explains how to navigate there three miles to the west. Uh, I will try to draw his description in my sketchbook. Okay, and he describes landmarks that you can draw very easily. He goes, you are, you are talented. Go, oh, sorry, go ahead. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no. No, none of us are trained in the divine. I, I, I assure you, if I knew any way to help, I would give you the tools. I do not have any. Well, we appreciate the direct. So, you kind of got silent out there, but have you seen Falls at all? Has he been through here? Not that I'm aware of, no. Does the name Almeth ring a bell? Almeth. No, I'm sorry. Um, do you uh, do you know of anyone whose name starts with the letter Z? As he's he's like Zupta, the newborn infant. <laughs> How do you know <laughs> Zupta? <laughs> oh, uh, I was about to write down that, Zupta. That's, I don't think that's who I'm referring to or who I'm As like he, of, he's so clearly referring to like a grandchild in the on, village. On yes, uh, but. Congratulations on the on the new uh, the new addition to the village. Uh, thank you, thank you. Does that make the population fifty nine now? No, it's what makes it fifty eight. Ah, uh, of course, my info's up to date. <laughs> That's right. Maybe probably probably uh probably in some sort of records and you, while you were doing some paperwork. As uh, with that, like I said, is there anything else you guys want to ask of him? I'm good. I, I don't have anything. I think we should continue or or go there and handle this. Uh, do you know the direction to the Frond Hill Oasis from here? The, uh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Or Silver Frond Oasis. Bad. The Silver Frond. No, I'm sorry. As it seems like, it, it, so he'll explain that he's never been more than 10 miles away from the village in his life. Oh, wow, that's, um... There's so much beauty out there. You should try to get out there and see some of the beauty out in the world. Perhaps after problem has been resolved, I will consider. But I cannot take the risk knowing that it's they could come over yes. at any time. Well, we will handle that for you. 
That sounds like a great reason to solve your problems. I, I am. I will be forever thankful. All right. As you all begin your journey three miles to the west on Camelback, you guys arrive at about ten twenty. Oh, it's still so early. It is. Well, it's how happened. Yeah, we got to like get an early start, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Get an early start, bro. All right. So, using any of these checks as you approach the runes, these are blind checks, folks. These are RKs or recall knowledge. You will not. And it's going to auto blind it for us, or do we need to? It should auto blind it for you. Yes, sir. It does. Um. No, it doesn't. That's okay. No, sir. It does not. That's okay. I've blinded some. <laughs> let me uh, let me see if I can let me see if I can do that again. Hold on. I think it might blind us to each other's, but not ourselves. Yeah. Um. Let me do because it's important that this is this is uh. Let's try that. Can you guys see that check or no? I don't see mine after I rolled it. Now I see no. mine. Did he? Did you do the new thing? The new one. Go do the new one. You shouldn't see the results. Yeah. I did not see the result. No. Okay. Cool. That, that, it. Now it's actually working. Dope, dude. Okay. Cool. All right. The other one was so good. Well, you don't know if it was bad or not. I don't, but I imagine it probably was. And it probably matters. wasn't a nat twenty like I got in my last one, huh? And it probably wasn't a nat twenty like I got exactly, in my last one. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like sorry. Like my nat nineteen that goes away. <laughs> okay. Okay. Those will come into effect later. So. And like I said, it's just, it's just, it's something I need to set up as you guys approach. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. My investigator, Labiel, give me a society or ancient Aslanti lore check. You should, you should have, uh, you do. <laughs> because you, it, I had it originally as ancient Thuvia. There's no such thing as ancient Thuvia. It was originally Aslanti. So, um, okay. As... You put together that this temple is from the time of the Jitska Imperium. Now we'll put that in chat here and read out what that means. The Jitska Imperium ruled over northwestern Garun from the early years of the Ages of Anguish, circa negative 4120 before Absalom's reckoning, through the first 700 years of the Age of Destiny, at its height in circa... Uh, pre-3500 AR, it dominated all of the northwestern Garund and also parts of southwestern Avastan. So this temple is almost 8,000 years old. It's over 8,000 years old. It is a very old temple. Well, I can you definitely it tell it's not in the same condition it was in its, in, its, in its prime. No. Oh, it's still standing. It's still standing. Absolutely. That's- but you can tell it's been parts of it have been probably been renovated, as this is uh, uh, Labiel's probably most exciting find, maybe in her life, given Labiel's backstory. As this is something that, like I said, this is a hidden gem uh, in terms of uh, like people don't know about this place. So this is probably very exciting for Labiel. As uh, give me a uh, give me a deception roll. Yep. As, uh, yeah, everyone can tell that Labiel is doing everything in her power to hold in an excitement that she has. Because generally, I'm assuming Labiel is pretty serious. You all right over there, Lips? Yeah. You sure? You seem a little uh, bit it, it peppier than usual. Like it. I've, I've only seen that face when we work together. I'll check up. I have lightning course through me all the time, and you look more jittery than I do. <laughs> There's like a glow to you. It's It's amazing. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Big one? It's beautiful. All right. Wow. As uh, Malia Stemp. Sorry, what was I'll that I'll start going? drawing it. I'll start sketching it. Your eye. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a tear, of, a tear of happiness. As how I put this, <laughs> you, um, g- um, Everett, give me, <laughs> Everett, give me a, um, give me a crafting check for me crafting check of course i'd love to okay give me a crafting check uh, also uh, 18 Kaladri. knowing right. okay because i would say you probably the only person that would know that okay let me think xander are you let me see let's see what xander's training here 
Awesome. <laughs> um, Xander, I want you specifically to give me a society check. Nice. As you are someone who this would also, um, you might know this information. Got it, dude. While we're waiting for Mike to figure that out, um, I just want to point out, uh, Kaladri sees that um, Mali Stamp is is uh, drawing the temple. Um, she focuses on um, Labiel's uh, reaction and actually paints, uh, starts to paint that and and capture that moment rather than the temple. Yeah, so this is probably the only time you guys have seen Labiel show any hint of excitement to this degree. Okay. In the one or two days that I've known her. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like, it's like you, it's one of those things where like, it's especially as someone who's worked with many soldiers, you can mm-hmm. you can kind of read personalities pretty quick and you're like, oh, this is the serious type. Okay, cool, got it, you know? But this is like very out of character uh, for Laviel. And Everett, Everett and Xander, or Xander, with your powers combined, <clears throat> you guys can put together that, especially someone with uh, those who know, well, let, me see, let me think, uh, Xander, you would know, how well do you know Laviel, Xander? <laughs> not, not well? Okay. Not well, apparently. Okay. Well, both of you would know that if Laviel had the right, knew the right people, or, or got in contact with the right people, or or uh, conducted it properly, you would think that proper excavation and expedition of this temple, uh, based on its condition after you guys go through it, if you were to if you were to um, lead an expedition, Labiel. They, they essentially like you uh i would say xander and everett you know that if lobby were to lead an expedition of this temple properly it would probably you know, over the course of a year or so she could probably net about two thousand gold wow this you know, oh, based, know what, you're ba- excited. yeah based on the rarity of this find this is a one of those nearly once in a lifetime finds it wouldn't, like I said, you might not be able to retire for the rest of your life, but you'd be doing pretty fucking good for yourself. Just Rolling put everything in into savings and then live off the interest. Mm-hmm. Do you guys convey that to Labiel? Oh, yeah. Oh, I know why you're so excited. <laughs> <laughs> About how much money you get from excavating this place. A lot of gold. A lot of gold. Oh, look like you're asking. I was... oh, she, no, she, she asked how much. Uh, 2,000 about, give or take. <laughs> Whoa. And we are quickly. going, ladies and gentlemen. The proper participle there would be is. <laughs> All right, as you guys are say, as Labiel has a newfound hope and excitement, because that's one thing too. You know that your father would be beyond proud of you for <laughs> such a for such a find. <laughs> Fucking got him. <laughs> All Hopefully right. it's still in good condition inside, too. We'll see. As I'm going to bring you to the map now. Let's see here. As the temple is in front of you, it's hard to see what's above it because it's a pretty tall temple. As you guys get to the uh, the base of the temple, stairs in front of you. You guys should have all freedom, about it. freedom of movement. I think, uh, I think we should let Lips lead the way here. She's got the experience on a lot of digs and such, so she's going to know the best routes to take and what to look out for here. All right. As you make it up to the top, you see some individuals dressed in what look to be like a sarin ray placard, wielding scimitars, bows on their back, look like somewhat trained fighters. And uh, some of them have less weapons on them. Some of them have no weapons on them. There's two here, or I say there's two here, and I'll say the one in the front has his scimitar, uh, or he has his hand on his scimitar. He goes, oh, who let you here? Who are you? And what do you want? As you look around, um, let me see here. You see what looks to be a small pyre in front. Of, so there's three buildings, one to your left, one to your north, uh, your, like, your, like northwest, and then one to your east. So I say, one west, directly west, one northwest, and one to the east. The, one, the building to the east is the largest building with stairs leading up to it. As you're looking around, some of the pillars 
as you can see on the screen, um, or you can see in front of you, are no longer standing. It's kind of kind of sad. As of the, I think, 12 pillars, four of them are broken and destroyed. You see a pyre, like I said, a pyre in the in the in the center in front of the stairs, and it looks like there are things that the um, one of the priests is tossing in. Make perception checks to see. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll do this for you. Make a, I'll put it in the chat. Make perception checks to see what the heck is being thrown in the fire. Um, you see, uh, okay. Oh, Everett with a nat, with a critical, critical success. Critical success. Very good. Three Heck successes. Yeah. So as a group, you all succeed. I'll say you all see this. You all see Saren Ray holy text being thrown into the pyre, as well as robes that are stitched with, Ser- like with the, the sigil of Saren Ray and... It looks like they're trying to get rid of Saren Ray regalia. I'd stop that if I were you. And, was, and the one the one in the front here on the south side, he goes, I will ask one more time, who are you and what do you want here? We're followers of Saren Ray, at least some of us are, and it looks like you're disrespecting her temple. Was, you're also destroying art, and I will not abide. Okay. So with Dude, that, a- they will take that as threatening words. And with that, <laughs> it will get into initiative as this was kind of sus from the beginning, right? As the strange thing you see is that the fire, the pile of fire, this pyre seems to start moving and gain sentience as we go into combat. Let's get some initiative rolls. What's going on here, folks? There's some strange shit going on. Would we have still been doing our ex- exploration. exploration tasks? Yep. Exploration, yep. Okay, so, you so can would those. we get the plus one for circumstance on initiative from me scouting? Yes, everybody would get it. Yes, yes, yes. And as I was detect magic, using detect magic, I can use religion as I use, use religion. divine magic. That's right, that's right. Perfect. So uh, can I use performance with my uh, outburst there? I'll allow it. Ooh, natty. Tw- I'm gonna natty. Zony. Uh, you want to use percept? You want to use the initiative check next time? But I'll put it in there for you. Uh, that's a thirty-one. All right. It doesn't add the one on its own, right? You said. All right. Let's see if anyone would get above. Mm, nope. The the plus one wouldn't have affected anyone's turn order anyway. Okay. Cool. 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 Here we go. Let's go ahead and get things underway as give me two seconds here as we begin all right that's uh me Kaladri. Right? or Kaladri, you uh, are up first mm, so um i see that they're destroying this and and Mal- value stem is so passionate about the the art and i feel the same way uh so i am going to just uh rush ahead to that first one Oh, I'm going to attack I him. dig it. Look at this. Um, with, uh, <laughs> uh, I, think, I think everyone's a little passionate today. I love it. There's a there's a time for peace and and there's a time not for peace. And I think this is that time. So I'm going to attack this <laughs> one. Yeah, listen, kid, <laughs> you fucked up. Yeah, fucked up. Oh Ooh, snap! Nice that's wrong. a critical. Hit. That's a critical hit, dude. Look at the story <laughs> moment as Kaladri charges forward. A war priest Don't mess of Kaladri and art. Dude. He said Let's to go. leave the art alone, and uh, yeah, oh shows. shit, yo! Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Three pieces <laughs> of damage! Wow! You wow. one shot hero point as you one shot! <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> Kaladri's nice for a reason. Yeah, <laughs> she yeah, chooses it. Yeah, I'm not nice. And, and honestly, uh, I've got one action left doing that. Um, wow, charges and forward I know and ends his life. It's not trained or anything, but I'm going to try to intimidate the, the back one after doing yeah, that. Yeah, 30 feet. <laughs> That'll work. You can do it. Oh, you're right. Uh, I, was on oh, I know. Too. Sad. Yeah, I was unfortunate. 
Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. But uh, like I said, you got the hero point for the group. That was fucking sick. <laughs> Here we go. Xander, you're up. As a follower of Saren Ray, I can only imagine you would have the tilted condition. Yeah, I'm, I'm pissed. I'm going to... Sounds it. 5, 10, 15, 20. <laughs> I yelled at him before. Yeah, I'm Damn, pissed. I can't get up to everyone. I'm so angry, Damn. guys. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Come on. Hey, yeah, hey remember, he's an ROLL player. He's an ROLL player. Leave him alone. I don't think I can get up there in one nice. action, can I? Uh, Not in one action, no. Actually, what? can I? I can do uh, leading. I, I'll not to be next to him for that fuck. And I guess what? I'll move up with two. I was gonna try and do the leading dance, but I have to be with it. I have to be adjacent to them. If you're adjacent, yeah. You can tumble panache. through if you want. You can tumble through with two actions. Yeah, I'll try that. I guess. All Why right. not? As you tumble, go all the way past, and you try and tumble through. Watch out! Go, go ahead and uh, you want to do that tumble through macro? Or you want me to do it for you? I still can't find it. Okay, <laughs> I got you. Uh, tumble through. Action. Oh wait, yeah, I did. I do have it. All right, well, then you go ahead and do it because that is a... Oh, my God. Never mind. That's a success. Oh, I did? Okay. Even with a nat Ooh. six, that's a success. <laughs> As uh, yeah. you gain Panache. Uh, sweet. I'm going to attack this motherfucker then. Okay. What is going on? My thing keeps... There you go. Is he targeted? And He's targeted. Yeah. He's, targeted. Okay. He's targeted. Okay. Cool. Boom. That sucks. Oh, you got, you got uh, a bunch I, of hero points, guys. I was going to say, if uh, I, I earn that one, I, w I would like you to use that Thank one you. since you are a follower of Saren. <laughs> I'm so. commanding you to use the hero point. I <laughs> I'm earned telling, the the telling you to. Yeah. Oh, my, oh, my God. It's still better. That's better. Okay, it was at that's the one. Hit, and rolled dude, over. That's a hit. An 18 nice. is a hit. All right, roll for damage. Well, I almost right. hit the attack again instead of damage. Why did I roll twice? Whoops. Uh, <laughs> They're I'm both the same number. Sure. So. It was a five and a one was the first one. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Eight points of damage goes through. Nice. No all turn. right. Well, they are all. He is also. Uh, I forget what it's called. Not flat footed, but off guard. Off guard. Yeah, he's off guard. Uh, to you. That's that's to you. To me. Yes. Yeah. To me. All right. This pyre is gonna go ahead. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. It will do a thirty foot. Uh, thirty. Is it thirty foot? Yeah, it will go ahead and move five feet and do a 30-foot line. I think uh, you mean it's five feet line, actually. No, a 30-foot line. Uh, I'm I mean, sure. Double check that one. I, uh, I think it's the other one. As Everett's not in the range of it, it's only going to hit Malia Stemp because you're actually below it, too, because um, you're on the stairs. Uh, so Malia <laughs> Stemp and... Let me just do this. I can do this. Kaladri. uh this is uh, Malia Stamp or oh, Reflex. Boom, there you go. Reflex saving throw for Malia Stamp and Kaladri in the chat for you. All right, 28 from Malia Stamp. Ooh, fail from Kaladri. Ooh. It's all right. Ooh. As uh, that's going to be 15 fire damage. As that's going to be half. And then I'll just add half again for Kaladri. Boom. As that's... Uh, 15 points of fire damage to Kaladri and, well, 14, but that's fine. And five to Malia Stemp, who resists some of it because he has resistance to fire damage. Feels pretty good, man. All right, that is the creature's turn. Now the cultist will turn around and target you, uh, Xander, with its scimitar. All right, but. Yeah, scimitar. As that's going to be an 18 to hit. Miss. It will try again, fishing for a hit. Oof. It finds one with a 24, dealing 10 points of slashing damage to Xander. And it will spend its last action to move. Uh, actually, sorry, I meant to go the other way. My bad. Uh, as it will spend its last action to move to the west. I will go ahead and adjust the camera for the viewers at home. All right. That is its turn. Mally Stamp. All right. So Mally Stamp will like swing his rapier out and just like cut through the fire with it because it's kind of how I'm visualizing his resistance. Dope. And I will linger in composition, inspire courage, and do that. I will be saying the priestess of Saren Ray and 
her other follower, shall not stand for this, just like I will not stand for the destruction of the art. She walks up and destroys one of yours. You don't stand a chance either. Okay. Inspire your courage. Wow, I feel so inspired. You feel inspired. And I'm going to roll that performance check. DC 19. That'll do it. As that'll last for three rounds. And Very good. Let me see. All right, it's your first action. 60 feet. A perfect 60 feet. 60 feet. Come on. God damn it. Whatever I have is 30 feet. One more time. Everything that I have is 30 feet instead of 60 feet. Well, you're an elf. You can move 30 feet. Oh, oh yeah. I still... Well, I can't cast a spell then, though. Oh, facts, though. 30. Yeah, because of two actions for that. Facts, though. Just pull out some more water. Yeah. As I'll say, the uh, area around... As you probably see that little 10-foot measurement around the, uh, the fire. You yeah. see smoke billowing out of it. Okay, okay. Like obscuring smoke? It is concealed. Actually... Right now, what I'm going to do then is I will do a recall knowledge on that fire creature. What in the heck is that thing? Give me a lore master check. Hey. Mm, oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. I don't know how that happened. No, this. Okay. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, 24 is a success. Offense, defense, or abilities, sir? Let's go with abilities. It has noxious burst. It can do that 30-foot line of flame. It can do a 5-foot emanation explosion of 2d12 plus 2 piercing damage with a reflex save. Uh, It can do a cone of uh, poison that could cause you to become sickened. And it has smoke vision, so essentially anything that's in its 10-foot emanation of smoke becomes concealed it has smoke vision, so it doesn't treat it as if you're concealed, but you, essentially, mm. um, if anyone was trying to attack you, they, you'd be concealed to them, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is what you uncover. These things are pretty nasty, as they are creatures that look like rolling clouds of black smoke. Uh, leering faces form in the fa- uh, and fade in the smoke. All right. Filth fire is what they're called. What was that? Filth fire. Hmm. In the chat, filth fire. I will share that information. Stay away from that thing as best as you can. Ranged attacks will work the best on it from to protect yourselves as well. Mm-hmm. All right. You have one more action, Malleus Nymph. I do have one more. Uh, I'll put a... Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll sheathe my sword and I'll start... I'll have to next time draw my bow, but, but that is what I will do. Okay. I mean, I guess I could drop the, the rapier for free but yeah that's not you know, just yeah, sw- I'd swap it out with one action might as well all right everett okay i have no view on this fight so i'm going to move myself in as much as i can which is i believe is the first 30 feet. the first movement is gonna be difficult terrain so it's 10 feet of movement because you're going upstairs okay that's fine i will attempt to move uh, you should be able to move all right so you move 10 feet you should now see the battlefield I do now indeed see the battlefield. Hmm? Which stuff? The token thing chosen. And then the the square top. Yeah. Okay. And then I just click and move myself, right? Well, you have to like drag or you just use the... Because WASD wasn't working. Arrows? Right? Arrows wasn't working for me either earlier. Oh, weird. Hmm. Yeah. I pressed my button. Unless it's just because I'm delayed and lagging or something. But no, they aren't working for me. Okay. Um, okay. How much more movement do I have? You have 15 feet of movement. And I move 15 feet forward. Sure. Next to Kaladri. I am then going to uh, cast a spell. And I'm going to cast Phase Bolt at the fire creature, the Filth oh, Fire. Oh, nice. A wise spell to use. Ignores cover and all that going. garbage. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, robbed of the natural 20. That was sad. That's a 12. Not going to do it. You have six hero points collectively. Six hero point. <sighs> Go for it. Is it worth it just to hit it? Let me work it. I mean, we got to steer clear from this thing. So, you know what? Yeah. 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 I'll use it. I'll use it. I'll use it. 
Okay, hero point down to five. That's better. That's better. Let's see. A 20 is a miss? Question mark? Holy cow, this thing is evasive or durable. Including the with two. the minus two circumstance? Including with the minus two <sighs> circumstance. Damn it. All right. That's that's all I had. I'll tell you, I you're miss. you're one shy with the minus two circumstance. This thing's got an AC of 23. Damn. AC 23, <laughs> folks. All right. Laviel. Don't forget to hunt your prey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Prey is hunted. All right. Go ahead and roll me a flat D20 first just to see if you hit because this thing is in the smoke. Oh. You're good there. All right. You pass with the 18. Now go ahead and make your, well, target it and then make your attack roll. Yeah. Target that doohickey. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, very nice. 24 is going to do it. Gun roll for that damage, girl. Let's see it. Juicy. 14 points of damage. Kerplunk. As it takes 14 points of damage. No resistance there. No resistance. We like to see that, folks. That's what we like to see. Little, little, little chunk. Little chunk. All right. That's your second action. Zero action. All right. Let's see it. Minus five to the attack. Let's see what you got. Uh, 13 is not going to do it. That is a critical miss. <laughs> As we move into round number two, Kaladri, what you gonna do? Okay, uh, my first action, um, I would like to recall knowledge also. On the fire? Yes. Okay, uh, give me a, it'd be arcana or nature. Oof, well. I don't know if this is, Kal- I don't know if this is Kaladri's specialty for this one. I don't think it is, but we're going to give it a go because you never know. You never know, folks. As uh, that's enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, offense or defense? Uh, defense. Defense. Ref is its highest. Will is its lowest. Uh, it is immune to bleed, fire, paralyzed, poison, and sleep. It has a weakness to cold damage. And you already know it's AC of 23. All right. Well, that uh, gives me confirmation of my next two actions, which is going to be to try to hit it with that purifying icicle. Purifying ice. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna give that All a right. go. Give me a flat flat d twenty to see if you mm-hmm. get past the uh, uh, concealment of the smoke. That's a seven. You're good. Very nice. Okay. You can go ahead and, and target it and make your spell attack roll. Try to hit this. Let's go. Oh my, Ooh. that's a critical miss. Critical failure. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use a hero point if that's okay a with everybody. Hero point. Okay. Yeah, absolutely not, don't you dare. <laughs> hero point, okay. I think I can do better. I think so too. And I so can. does the dice. That's a twenty-three. Exactly it's AC. Holy crap. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Roll for and damage. Here we go. There's some damage coming. Okay, seventeen points of damage as you snuff out the smoke with the ice that's actually incredible (laughs) as it's no longer concealed very very good fantastic turn fantastic turn all righty okay very very good turn and very yeah good utility there xander don't forget you're faster because you are i am faster which is exactly what i was hoping for because i am going to move in front of that dude to cut him off because he might be trying to run away. Uh, he is help. trying to run away indeed. As yeah, you're I'm trying gonna... to get past him. Yeah. You know, let's yak him. Okay. Uh, well, let's get a let's get a tumble through. See how we do there. That. Let's get a Five, tumble ten. through. <laughs> Ooh, I actually 16. had enough movement to go around. Okay, I passed anyway. I, was gonna say, I have enough movement to actually go around and just well, he, step he, in he front make, of him. It makes him off guard to you. <laughs> That's why you want it. The True. off guard. The off guard is clutch. So that's true. Um, as you hear movement coming from behind the curtain, oh, nearby you guys, there's somebody else hiding here. Oh, mighty uh, action two. I'm gonna activate my jolt coil, okay, and then I'll attack him with my weapon and, and the electric arc at it. Okay, 
Do Sick. I have to do anything to add that, or is that just a separate like D4 I would roll? I will give you the joke coil effect. Give me one moment. Ooh. You're putting this on your armor. A rip, rapier. A rapier. On the rapier. Yeah. There we go. Yep. I figure as much. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Critical hit. That's yeah. what I'm fucking talking about. Oh, Let's daddy. see it, dude. Hell yeah. Critical. Let's... Hit that critical button. Let's see what the fuck happens. Critical. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bud. Oh, yeah. As this <laughs> thing, as he's barely, barely, st- <laughs> literally one HP in a dream. Oh, one my God. One HP in a dream. God damn it. Oh, job, man. As uh, give me a moment here. The initiative is about to get a little bit juicier here, <laughs> folks. As uh, let's see here. Yeah, sorry. Give me two seconds. Okay. As you hear, um, you're like, he's like, ah, ah, help, help. You know, and uh, you, you hear people rummaging about and you hear the voice. He goes, what is the problem? As you hear one voice that sounds like it's coming from a halfling and you hear him like, ah, whoosh, whoosh, as you hear him, as you hear someone walking towards you, cracking a whip. So first action, tumble through. Second action, strike. You have one more action as you hear people approaching you, Xander. I already warned them about the guy, so I'm going to attack this guy again, see if I can fucking kill him. Okay. Let's go. And 17 going to do it. Hell yeah. Roll, uh, describe your kill as you run him through. Oh, I'm going to fucking stab him right through the chest. Yes. And then tell him that uh, that's what he gets for disrespecting Saren Ray and his buddies next. He's, he's like, send more. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. As uh, this is a cool, like, yeah, I see, I see, I see the blade running through, and as he rips it out, you see the electricity just coursing. As like, <laughs> it almost looks like he's taking a, a note from Everett here. Uh, <laughs> this is fucking cool, man. As he almost enters his own, we'll call it his Saren Ray, Saren Ray Cascade. All right, <laughs> the filth fire. <laughs> It starts to slowly, or I should say, it starts to, it starts to just kind of like creepily, almost like horror movie, quick crawl forward as it tries to, uh, it's going to move in front of Everett and Kaladri. And then just fucking hit us all. And is it going to use one of its abilities here? It's going to use one of its noxious bursts. Uh, but it's only a five foot emanation, so it's only Everett and Kaladri. Let me get a. Let me go ahead and do this real quick here. As uh, as uh, this is Everett and Kaladri. Let me get a reflex save from you. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That ain't good. As uh, Kaladri, that's actually a critical oh boy. failure. This is basic save. It just means you're gonna take boo boo damage. As you see it, just. Some of the how many so, how many hero points do we have left? Yeah, you, it's a, that is a good question. <laughs> you have four hero four? points remaining. You guys can see it in the journal section. Yeah, it's uh, in the journal section. Uh, four four remaining uh, hero yeah. points. I think I would like to use a hero point if it is okay like with everyone. To use a hero point. <laughs> okay, forward, please yes. do. Guys are please, actually starting to do. get low here. You got three hero points. <laughs> starting to get low. I'll go ahead and re-roll that for you. Be, uh, I, I just clicked it. I'm you sorry. Got it? Cool. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you rolled worse. my God. You rolled worse. You rolled worse. Okay. It, it, it was uh, meant to be. What I meant be. to say was, yes, can you please re-roll that for me? <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, meant to be. 2d12 plus yeah. it is. two piercing damage. Oh, very low. Very, <laughs> that's fine. You'll take double, which is 16 points of damage. Could be way worse. As yeah, absolutely. Uh, that wasn't Everett bad. takes eight points of piercing damage. That is the filth fire. Filth fire's turn. Oh, Everett, are you okay? I've, I'm doing better than you look. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, that's you nothing. Hear, actually, it wouldn't go in this order. It would. Uh, as the is this the enemy's turn? I'll put, I'll put it that way. It's the enemy's turn. Uh, the um, cultist will move up as you hear the drape fly open, Xander, uh, and he will move up. And around you, the second one will move up next to you to flat foot oh, you. No. There's two more up here. As uh, you hear a third inside. 
Oh, there's three of them up here. <laughs> Scratch that. Three. <laughs> Scratch that. Three. As uh, Four, seven. Go goes to strike you. Ooh, natural three for a 13. Not oh. going to do it. And so I actually have it. Oh, wait. Is that a, that's not a critical miss, is it? It's no, not no, a critical it's not gonna miss. not going to be for you. Oh, man. As it will try Almost again. It's going to it's gonna fish for a crit. going to fish for a crit. Mm. That's a natural God. 18. It will hit. Ooh. Dealing six points of damage. Six whole points of damage. <laughs> Easy. Minimum. Easy, dude. <laughs> Easy damage. No problem. As you'll hear the halfling come out side as he will uh let me see here he will go ahead and cast a spell at you all right uh no i'm assuming nobody has those uh no one has like the quick recognition or recognize spell no i do not i do not okay Ugh. there we go as i need a fortitude save from xander please as you feel, you see him speaking. <laughs> he starts speaking of a strange language. Um, natural 20 says, fuck you. Critical success. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. As you, you feel him trying to like actually bend your bones inside of your body. It is really creepy. As this is clearly not a worshiper of Sarah, <laughs> right? Um, as I'll actually go ahead and send, let you guys see his art. As you see, has some oh. sort of pendant with a, a, a an ellipsed moon on it, and it's a very crude-looking whip. All right. As with that, the that is the enemy's turn. Yep. Mal, you steal. All right. So I don't need to re-up because I got my lingering comp last time. So I will start <laughs> a little spell here. Speaking to the filth fire, it, of course you're a filth fire because only filth would try to take away the fire that falls under Saren Ray as I cast Biting Words on it. Okay, Biting Words. I love it. Let's see that spell attack roll. Oh no, the natty one. Critical. <laughs> Ouch. The natty Hero daddy. Point? Uh, <gasps> we have three left. I say yes. <laughs> this thing's burning Saren Ray and art. So... Let's go. Use them. I use them. Also, I, I don't want to get can. hit if it's a critical fail I'm about thing to be up next, me, though, so. and I, I plan on walloping this thing if I can. That's up well, to you. What do you want to do? If you want yeah. to use it, go yeah, for I it. Because I, 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 I got the, net, the net one also, which makes it worse. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well, so uh, it's, it's actually point. not It's not the worst card, but it's not a good card. Oh, well, I didn't uh, even look all, at it because I didn't want to. All beneficial spells affecting you end immediately. Uh, so basically, you'd lose Inspire Courage. Yeah, but that affects everyone else too. Exactly. So this is actually a really rough card. It's really bad. Yeah, it's a very bad card. Okay, so you you negate it. Okay, uh, twenty one is still a miss. AC twenty three. You know that. Um, but that's not as bad as a crit miss. So AC twenty three even without its cover. Well, the cup. No, the the smoke just made him concealed. Yeah, got, it, it, got, got it. Got it. Got there, it. Yeah. But... Yeah, it just gave it automatic miss chance. So no. That's it. All righty. Uh, I will re-up that real quick. Yep, yep. Everett, you are up. Okie dokie. Well, I don't have to move because it came up to me. So right. first action, I'm going to enter my arcane cascade. Um, which okay. would be, uh, would that be force? From what, uh, what spell do you use? I used phase bolt. Phase bolt would be force. There you go. I put it on you. Okay, 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 okay. And then I'm going to spell strike that that mother effer, and I'm going to weave that in with a um. Sorry, I just punched my mic. I'm going to weave that in with a frost bolt or a ray of frost. Okay. Do you want me to do that spell strike macro for you or no? Uh, yeah, please. It's going to be way faster if you do it. Yeah. Uh, and this was um, what spell was this? Uh, ray of frost. Ray of Frost with a falchion, no penalty. Here it comes, folks. Mm. Holy shit. Holy shit, Nat one. Critical hero point, failure. no hero point. Well, I think we've all gotten a chance to use hero point, so. Plus you I, got that I, cold damage coming. I mean, if it gets another turn, it could just do a ton of damage to us. I'm going to take the hero point. Hero point, I, we roll, keep the higher result. Let's see what happens, folks. That's going to be a hit instead. Oh, thank God. 
Just barely, though. Barely. Uh, on 2d10, you rolled two ones. Of course. <laughs> Sounds like the rolls. fuck. As Jesus. Okay, uh, that was a really rough round for uh, for Everett there. Mm -hmm. The Ray of Frost. You talking about? Did the Ray of Frost go through with it? Uh, did it not calculate the Ray of Frost? Or did I do the Doesn't wrong? Doesn't look like it. Let me see. 2d10 slashing, strength, inspire courage, arcane cascade. Yeah, it has the one from the arcane, arcane uh, cascade. The arcane one cascade, force. The Ray of Frost did not go frost. through. Uh, give me one moment. I will get that damage up for you. Nine extra points of damage. We'll take that. Nice. As that bloodies the filth fire. Very, very good. Yikes, rough a rooney, dude. So many so many ones this time and around. Because it's, it's weak control, too. So that that's, was why, that's why it's super important. Alright, you still have uh so cart arcane cascade and spell strike. Okay. Yeah, that's all my actions. Laviel. Just pelt this thing. Good lord. I'm so sorry about that, David. That was painful to watch. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, at least the cold damage got in there, though. Yeah. Yeah, the cold. Yeah, it doesn't 17? matter how much. Seven, if it's weak, damage. it's weak. That's right. It's not weak to cold? It is. It, he took it took 14 damage on, on his nine. Oh, well, you said 17. I, I was adding the eight and the nine. Oh, no, se 17 total uh, b before the weakness trigger. Oh, oh, word, 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 word. Nice. Eight. Hey, 29 is going to be a hit. Let's see it. The damage coming out. Let's go. Okay, nine points of piercing damage. None of it negated as it's on its last leg here. Let me see. Do you not have any? You have Hunter's Aim, which you might want to use if you're going to strike again. Because if you use Hunter's Aim, it'll give you a plus two bonus, which would make it only a minus three, which you should see under your action section. You can click on Hunter's Aim. And you also have Hunted Shot, right? Yeah, you should know how Hunted Shot works. Especially if you got Rosvin over there. I mean, but Hunter's Aim is good if you're going to do just two shots. So go ahead and uh, yeah, under your action section, you should see or under your, under your, uh, I toggled it on for you. Go ahead and make your second attack. Oh, a natural three says no. Natural three says no. Damn. All right. We're at round number three. Claudry, what you got for me? Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of looking at what I can see as Galadri, and I see the other person, and I heard Xander. Uh, so I say to, as a free action to my team, guys, uh, you guys got this handled. I, I have to go help Xander. Uh, and Galadri is going to move uh, 25 feet up okay. there. You can move up one more. Yeah. There you go. And then I'm going to target the one that I can see. Okay. If it's going to... Uh, I'm not on the target thing. Hold on. Sorry. Uh, and then I'm going to use my cantrip uh, needle darts. Oh, uh, to, okay. Needle to darts send coming some, out. Some needles flying at the uh, at that bad guy. All righty. And here we go. Let's see it, folks. Okay, twelve. Oh, that's that's me a hit. twenty-two. Twenty-two is absolutely a hit. Roll for damage. Oh, lovely. Fourteen points of damage. Very what? nice. Very cool. Very very cool. All Leave right. him alone. Yeah, oh. leave him alone. I got you, Xander. Appreciate it. We got this. And that's my Xander, turn. roger that. Xander, you are surrounded. What are you going to do, brother? I am. So I am going to attempt to tumble through so I am no longer flying. Tumbling through over here. Or do you want to tumble around the corner so the other guy doesn't have line of sight on you? Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Fine. As Crack. we will... Will I be able to hit both of them there with the electric arc? If I go there? Uh, I'll say because you know he's there and he hasn't moved, I'll allow it. Sweet. Thanks. And yeah, I'll do that. All right. Tumble through coming I got through. Mine. Nat 19 for the tumble through. Easy. Critical yeah. success. Critical success. Yeah. Very good. All right. As that one is off guard to you for the time yeah. being. I'm going to smoke right. his ass. Go ahead and target and fire away. You must target. Is it shown? It's shown the thing there. Is that yours or mine? That's That's mine. So you guys are both having issues yeah. targeting that one. Yeah. Okay. Just target the one on the left again, just like a. Uh, okay. Just, just like. Yeah, that, that one worked fine. That's strange. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh let's go. That's Natty Daddy, baby. Daddy. Critical Ooh. hit. Let's go. Good job, Mikey. Piercing. Oh. The target triple damage. Oh. And the target is fatigued. <laughs> 
I don't think it'll live long enough to I don't be fatigued. So go ahead yeah. and roll damage normally, and we'll triple it. Ooh, you know, uh, and then we'll I'm add so proud of Xander for being very useful this fight. <laughs> As that's 36 points of damage. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think he did. Nice. Yeah, he did. And then do I just roll a separate D4 for the other guy? or? Because uh, he gets it. I, I cast Electric Arc with part of the attack, so it would spread to him too for the D4. Right. Uh, okay, let me get a reflex save right. for him. Yeah. Reflex save coming out. Uh, 14's a fail. So go ahead and roll me. What would be... You guys are... To be two D four, right? Yeah. I don't th I don't think it heightens, does it for the 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 jolt coil? Yeah. Let's take a look. Um as... I think you have to buy I think you have to pay for like the upgraded one. Okay, so it'd be one D four plus spell casting mod for you would be cur uh, uh oh, oh, oh. Why did it roll that? I clicked a D four. Or a four D four, hold on. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Uh one D four you plus like? your spell casting mod, which I'll say is your class your class skill that's fine so seven points of damage nice as it goes around the corner and you hear the uh, satisfying hit all right that is your turn all right so the filth fire is gonna go ahead and run away in fear <laughs> uh, in fear question mark wait that was only two actions wasn't it uh tumble through and huh. oh it's part of it, it yeah, it's part of my attack. Holy cow. Never mind. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I you're forgot. good. Uh, it's my first time Wait, encountering this attack? item. That jolt yeah. coil thing. Yeah, I think it's good. They found that. Uh, last action, attack. I guess attack him again. Uh, there's no one in your range to attack, sir. I can't see that dude anymore. Uh, like I said, you technically have this vision, but everything is at least 10 gotcha. feet away from you. Uh, I'll just move, I'll kind of just move back or to that square again. All right, I guess I'll just stay where I am. I want him to come to me. Okay. All righty then. Oh, yeah, I killed him. I'm actually, I do have something I can do. I can use my, uh, I don't think it's an action, but I have your, uh, your next. Oh, you have your next. You use a re, that's a reaction if you want to use it. I will use that, yeah. Actually, you know what? If you have an extra action, I'll let you use it as an action if you'd rather do that oh, because I'm sure you want to use opportune repost if you get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can use it as an action. That's fine. That doesn't bother me. Sweet. Make an intimidation check. For the plus two circumstance bonus. So do I click uh, opportunity or uh, where is you just it? click oh. intimidation. Unless, unless you have the macro ready, uh, you use uh, intimidation. I said, or I can, uh, I, can uh, yeah, I can just do it real quick. Cool. And I get a plus two. And you get I'm a sure plus two to, to the check. And holy Which... crap, you. <laughs> Which doesn't matter when you're on that one. You scare doesn't matter yourself. when you're on that one. <laughs> Not, nothing bad happens. Just you don't, you don't get any benefit. It's fine. He ain't scared. All right, he, turns he, he yells boo into a mirror and scares himself. <laughs> He's like, himself. yeah, and, 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 and you're next. Uh, so what, you kill two of my friends. I'm not scared of you. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 you're, you're, you're next. You, you, right? you, you're swear. next. <laughs> <laughs> As, uh, we'll say you got like dribble, you got like spit dribble coming down your your lip and you try to scare him. <laughs> He's like, yeah, okay, dude. Uh, <laughs> so. What, do you just eat a hoagie or something? The <laughs> filth the fire will just go hoagies, to all stuff just lay his mouth. a harrowing on uh on everett here it's gonna go to do a burning lash at you and let's see that's gonna be a 23 to hit 10 points of a fear damage and you are also 1d6 persistent fire damage Damn. oh shit it will then go ahead and spread the love to malustemp and try to hurl a ball of ember at malustemp that's going to be a 20 to hit. Yes. It will try one more time. Fishing for a crit. It finds the crit on a net 19. That's going to be a 24 to hit. 11 points of fire damage. And you're taking 1d6 persistent fire damage. Not so much of an issue for you with your resistance. But that still an sucks. issue for me. That still sucks. All right. as uh, That's its turn. All right. As this... Uh, this strange character is going to go ahead and move around. This halfling is going to go ahead and strike at Xander with his uh, with his, uh, his whip there. Watch uh, him, Nene. One more time. I said, watch him, Nene. 
Yeah, yes, watch him knit whip and nay nay. <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and get a scorpion whip attack here. Ooh, okay, that's gonna Ooh. be 20 to hit exactly. Is that's gonna be 14 points of damage? Ouch! If it's a, wait, he rolled a 20? It rolled off the 20. Uh, 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 a total of 20. 20 total. A total of 20. So if he did that, can I use the. Uh, the nimble dodge to get the plus two to AC. You absolutely can. Look at you knowing your stuff. Look at that. As you take zero points of damage, he will go ahead and follow up fish I've... for a crit. See if he can find one. And does he find one? No, that's a natural two. No go. Mm -hmm. As he critically misses, unfortunately, you're not in range. But you are. I already used my reaction. You already used your reaction. It's all yeah. good. There's your little marker for reaction to use. So yeah. I don't forget. I... All I'd right. rather, I'd rather. As this guy's going to go move all the way around you, and you are actually off guard because the other guy has reached, so you're off guard. Oh, shit. Oh, Does no. Feel like. <laughs> As he will go Taste ahead. Taste my own medicine. <laughs> Taste your own medicine here. Flat footed here. Natural three. <laughs> he don't care. It's a 13 uh -huh, hit. Uh -huh. Nice try, psych. As that's going to be a follow-up. Uh, 15. Not going to do uh -huh. it. All right. Malustia. All right, so my Inspire Courage is still going. That's correct. I will reapply it now. Uh, As now everyone's within range of Inspire Courage. With Biting Words, I can spend one action to cast it again on the following turn. Yes, sir. And I will put it on that Filth Fire. Because screw that thing, right? So I'll show you a burn. It's because you're insulting him. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> All right, so I guess I can just bring up a spell attack roll or something for it then, because that's probably the easiest way gonna, to do that. Damn it. Mm, 15, not going to do it. All right, well, that's not fun. But you know, I pulled out my bow for a reason, so I will switch over to the bow, and I'll take a shot at it with that. All right. Let's see if you can do it. Let's see if you can embrace your inner elf and get some bow strikes going. Okay, that's new. That I have to assign ammo to the weapon. I don't know how that's supposed to work. <laughs> you know how that's supposed to work, Liam? Oh, I got your ammo. It's in the uh, it's in the action section. I already got your ammo assigned to it. You can go ahead and attack now. Sorry about that. Ooh, 15. Not going to do right it. Right there, bro. Yeah. And, uh, robbed of the 20. I saw it, too. Well, you know what? I don't spend a lot of time doing that, so I'm just going to... Eh. I'm going to use cast a shield on myself. Casting shield. Spell effect shield is up. All righty. Everett, you're up, buddy. All right. All right. First action, I'm going to uh, re-up to get my uh, spell strike. And then I am once again going to attempt to spell strike this thing with a ray of frost thrown in there to hopefully kill it this time. Only one way to find out. Ray of frost. All right. Weapon... Oh, that looks like a juicy hit there. Okay, as you deal a total of 22 damage plus some extra, that's enough to take it down. Ah, finally. That's enough to take it down. Very good. That's uh, first action recharge, second and third action, destroy. Destroy. Yes, sir. <laughs> destroy. Nice. And then I sizzle. All right. Is that a flat check at the end to... See if I can uh, uh, get put it, out, or it—it it is, sir. It is. Oh, thank you. As that's uh one, that's three points of persistent fire damage, and you are still cooking. All right, Labiel. <laughs> oh yeah. Such a weird one. Are you gonna hunt prey? <laughs> Which one are you hunting prey on? Oh, I see. I, I see the one you're targeting. Okay, gotcha. Hunt, hunted, hunted. Easy, dude. Oh, snaps. Two birds, one stone. Or I guess technically one bird, two stones. But who's keeping track? Let's see. The bird. The bird is keeping track. <laughs> 18 will do it. Word up. All right. 11 heaven, as that will bloody the creature there with a first attack. Let's see the second one. Follow up. Do you got it? See what happens here. Oh, not one. Critical fail. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're going to keep it? Do we have one or two hero points left? 
You have, have two hero points. Yep, yep. You keeping it or no? The rest of us used it. Yeah. The rest of us used it. You. Okay, hero point. Let's see what happens. We'll go ahead and re-roll and use the better. Uh, I got you, fam. I got you. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Happen. Happen. It, 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 it didn't it get better really before. It really doesn't. She rolled one, so there's a 5% chance worse. it doesn't get better. Uh, 23 with the follow-up. It was, it, was a, it was a lot better. Yeah. A lot oh. of damage, too. All right. Let's see it. Let's see it. Ooh, Ooh shit. Ooh, 17 points. Nice. That's enough to pin through into the wall as slowly slides down the wall did. And as you do this, you hear the doors of the temple to the east burst open. Oh, my. oh man. And you hear, you see an individual that looks skin too pale to be human anymore. As he cries out, You have ruined so much, and you will pay for it on the next episode. We'll see you next time, <gasps> folks. <gasps> bum, Say bum, bye, bum. bye bye. Goodbye. Bye. Peace out. Later. Cardinal Adventures uses trademarks and or copyrights owned by Paizo Incorporated, used under Paizo's community use policy. We are expressly prohibited from charging you to use or access this content. Cardinal Adventures is not published, endorsed, or specifically approved by Paizo. For more information about Paizo Incorporated and Paizo products, visit paizo.com. That's P-A-I-Z-O dot com. The players' characters within this show are property of Cardinal Adventures. Music provided by Shahid Mostafafar, Jacob Petrus, William Van de Kromert, Ziv Moran, and Sirenscape. <laughs>